The most watched. The most trusted. Eyewitness News. Everywhere you are. Now, from Eyewitness News, your weather authority. Forecast first. It's quarter after 10. The temperature right now is at 82 degrees. We're going to be warming to a high of 90 later today. So it's sweet. Afternoon 2, coming up in a few minutes. Good morning. Thanks for joining us for this Eyewitness News Daybreak. It's Wednesday, June 26th. And some headlines to catch you up on while you were sleeping overnight. Henderson has now become the 11th city in Kentucky to enact a fairness ordinance. The topic, though, is nothing new. It's been on the books before. Now it's being enforced. We'll have all the latest. Also ahead, continuing coverage from Perry County. The death of a Jasper Girl Scout at Camp Cook is hitting home for a lot of people. This morning, reaction from first responders. Plus, recreational marijuana is now legal in the state of Illinois, a continuing trend across the country now coming to the tri-state. Find out when this new law goes into effect. And a goose found injured in Garvin Park is back with its family after a local group helps it back to health. A heartwarming story worth sticking around for as we all wake up together this Wednesday. Live from Local 7 WTVW, this is Eyewitness News Daybreak in High Definition. Good morning once again and welcome to Eyewitness News Daybreak. I'm Jake Boswell. We begin this morning in western Kentucky at the top of our 5 o'clock hour. Henderson is the 11th city in the Commonwealth to have a fairness ordinance. The Board of Commissioners once again voted 3-2 to two in favor of the Civil Rights Fairness Ordinance. This was the second reading. The ordinance does include a religious clause protecting actions based on religious freedom that otherwise might be deemed discriminatory. And that clause is already a state law, but Commissioner Bradley Statton said it was added for clarification. The addition did upset many of those in favor of the ordinance, including the former city's mayor. Now, before the second vote, Joseph Fleming spoke before the board about the original Fairness Act. That was a major reason he chose to move to Henderson, he says, 20 years ago. I was worried about moving here because I didn't really know about it. I just knew it was rural Kentucky. Um, so then I thought, wow, this is really cool. I just came from Louisville, this huge metropolis, I guess, that um, passed it and wanted everybody to be included. And then I came here and thought, this is awesome. The ordinance prohibits discriminatory practices on the basis of gender identity and sexual orientation when it comes to employment, housing, and accommodations. The ordinance originally passed in 1999, where it remained in place for about a year and a half before it was then voted down. Sticking with Henderson this morning, also on the agenda there was an amendment to expand an area where special events with alcohol are permitted. The ordinance would expand the area of downtown Henderson, which allows 21 and over events. The area would now include the first and second blocks of 2nd Street, Main Street from 3rd to Washington, 1st Street from Elm to the Judicial Center, and Water Street from Rock House on the River Pizza to the Doc Hosbick Tennis Facility. The ordinance did pass 4 to 1 on its first reading. Here's some good news for people living in Evansville. Work has now started on the new indoor pool at Garvin Park. It's great news here as we start to warm up weather-wise. The new Deaconess Aquatic Center is expected to be finished a little over a year from now. Back on November 2020 is the date that they've given us. Deaconess donated $2.5 million for naming rights for this center. It'll have two new full-size pools, a recreation center, and an outdoor splash park. And I, Ron Rhodes joins us now talking about the weather. Outdoor splash park yes. sounds perfect when we talk about the temperatures you're predicting for today and later this week. Right, I mean, this is what we need. We need it right now, I know, but it's all right. We can wait a year. There are other pools we can go to. Yeah, but we're gonna need it definitely today. Something to cool you off. As far as the temperature goes, right now we're in the 80s, so not too bad, but the humidity has been creeping up all day long. So as we take a look at what the temperature is across the tri-state, 82 degrees, uh, is what we have here in Evansville. And you can see 82 degrees Tell City, 83 in Owensboro. But check out Future Tracker uh, heat wise. And we're talking about a heat index already of 90 degrees before noon. It'll be in the mid 90s at midday. And as we head into the afternoon, still in the mid 90s. But look at the cooler air in yellow starting to work its way in from the west. Those thunderstorms will be firing up. Let's hope they're not as big as yesterday's thunderstorms. And we had this truck that was blown over by those damaging winds. Connie Howerton got that shot from I 69. Today's forecast, 90 degrees for a high, mix of sun and clouds until those thunderstorms fire up later on this afternoon with that isolated severe threat. So, Jake, uh, we'll be looking at those thunderstorms later on this afternoon, but right now we're looking pretty good for the next few hours as long as we are not outside sweating it out.
Yeah, swimming pool weather for sure, Ron. Thanks. Let's move along to the roads now in our dashboard report as you start off your morning drive. The saying goes, one man's trash is another one's treasure. We're kind of looking ahead to the weekend here because if you're looking for treasure, you'll likely find it at the annual Highway 41 yard sale this Saturday. The sale goes along Highway 41 through Henderson, Webster, Hopkins, Christian, and Todd County. So a pretty big area. Hundreds of booths are expected to be set up, which means a lot of traffic. So if you drive through the area, be extra careful. Look out for pedestrians along the highway and for people looking to cross the road. Also, as a safety precaution, don't park your vehicle where others aren't able to see approaching traffic when they're trying to leave a sale. This year's Highway 41 yard sale is hopefully going to be another safe one. We know a lot of people look forward to this in western Kentucky. No accidents to report right now. The Lloyd Expressway and the Twin Bridges, all of our main roads looking good. No traffic backups in our dashboard report. Six massage parlors in Evansville have now been accused of soliciting sexual acts for tips. Evansville police say the investigation started after several complaints. EPD says the investigations were conducted at First Avenue Massage and Spa, Asian Massage, Beijing Spa, Lilac Massage, and others. Undercover detectives went into the businesses and say they found a violation. A female in the business Asian Massage were warned. Police say each parlor will now be monitored and appropriate citations will be issued if they are found in violation. Authorities have arrested two men in Posey County in connection to a home break-in. Deputies were called to Briar Ridge Road in Wadesville just before 8 on Tuesday morning. They arrived and they found 30-year-old Nicholas Beeman and 34-year-old Curtis Nichols just outside that home. The people living at the house say the two broke into the home while they were still inside. They say they hid inside a room until it was safe to come out. Beeman and Nichols are being held on burglary and auto theft charges this morning. Illinois has now become the 11th state to legalize recreational marijuana. Governor J.B. Pritzker has now signed that bill to make it a law. Starting January 1st, state licensed businesses will be allowed to grow and sell the plant. It also allows people 21 years and older to consume and possess it. Critics are saying legalization will result in more deaths and driving while high car accidents. Marijuana is expected to bring in a lot of money, though, for the state, about $500 million per year in tax revenue. Moving further east into Indiana, the state has now received its fourth report card from the Indiana Chamber of Commerce, and it's kind of a mixed bag. The Vision 2025 report card outlined the progress and the downfalls of the state's economy. Although the state's been improving in education and unemployment rates, there is still plenty of work that needs to be done. 37 goals were listed in the plan. The main focus is to decrease smoking rates and increase resources for entrepreneurs. I think the health metrics are very important, uh, and then I think the the entrepreneurial um, uh, efforts with respect to increasing the amount of venture capital available in Indiana and spawning uh, more new business startups because we're we're near the bottom of the 50 states in that, and, and that's critical to our economic future. Kevin Brenniger, who you heard from there, says the community can contribute to improving the economy by providing more job training opportunities and by supporting strict tobacco laws. Coming up, Ron's back in with our weather authority forecast. It's a hot day. He'll let us know exactly how high those temperatures are going to get when we get back.